Hello dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about detailed procedure for extracting iron from its ore. First of all, what is the ore of iron? We know that ore of iron is hematite. Hematite is iron oxide that is Fe2O3. Iron is extracted from its ore using a tall construction known as blast furnace. You can see diagram of blast furnace alongside. It is almost 30 feet tall construction wherein a lot of heat is generated to extract iron from its ore. The temperature of the furnace reaches to around 1800 degrees Celsius. This temperature is greater than the melting point of iron and hence pure iron that we obtain at the end of the procedure it is collected in liquid form from the bottom of the furnace. Impurities in the ore of iron are basically sulfur and silica impurities. So in our process, we are going to discuss about how are we going to remove out these impurities from iron and of course, how to remove out oxygen because we want pure iron from Fe2O3. Now, we will see step-by-step -step procedure and the reactions involved in extracting iron from hematite in the blast furnace. Step 1. Charge is added from the top of the furnace that is from here. What is this charge? Charge is a mixture of three different components that is iron oxide Fe2O3, carbon in form of coke and calcium carbonate. Step 2. Hot air blast is given to the furnace from the bottom. You can see there are two inlets for supply of hot air to the furnace. The first reaction that takes place in the furnace is that this coke reacts with oxygen in the hot air to form carbon dioxide. C plus O2 gives CO2. Now, the first question here is that we have already discussed carbon dioxide is not a reducing agent. It is not going to reduce iron oxide. Then, why I am letting this reaction take place? Instead, I would just control the supply of air and I would form carbon monoxide here. Why I am not doing that directly? The reason is carbon when reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide, it is an exothermic reaction and it produces lot of heat which is favorable for my blast furnace. The second reason is that we have to maintain high value of temperature in the furnace and so if I would control the supply of air to form carbon monoxide then the temperature required will not be reached and hence we we'll let this first reaction takes place wherein carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. The second reaction we have is that carbon dioxide reacts with more coke to form carbon monoxide. So CO2 plus C reacts to form carbon monoxide. This carbon monoxide will help me in my next step to reduce iron from iron oxide. Now in step 3, carbon monoxide that is formed in step 2 reduces iron oxide to form iron. So reaction third that we have in blast furnace is that iron oxide Fe2O3 reacts with carbon monoxide to form iron and carbon dioxide. Note that iron formed over here with this reduction process is not 100% pure as it still contains silica impurities that is SiO2. Iron runs down to the bottom of the furnace as by the time this reaction takes place the temperature of the blast furnace is so high that it crosses melting point of iron and hence liquid droplets of iron they run down to the bottom of the furnace and collected over there. The next step that we have is fourth 
वेर इन कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट विच वॉज एडेड इन चार्ज इज थर्मली डीकम्पोज द फोर्थ रिएक्शन हियर इज दैट सी एस सीओ थ्री इज थर्मली डीकम्पोज टू फॉर्म कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी विल सी हाउ दिस थर्मल डीकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन हेल्प्स अस टू प्यूरिफाई आयन now we will see the last step in extraction of iron in the blast furnace in step 4 we have seen that calcium oxide is formed by thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate note that calcium oxide is a metal oxide and hence it is basic in nature whereas the impurity present in iron that is silica sio2 is a non metallic oxide and hence it is acidic in nature when base and acid react together there is a neutralization reaction takes place and hence calcium oxide and silicon dioxide they undergo a neutralization reaction the fifth reaction that we have in blast furnace is calcium oxide cao reacts with silicon dioxide that is sio2 to form calcium silicate that is casio3 calcium silicate is called as slag and it can be easily skimmed off from the surface of iron so here we have seen how we turn iron oxide into iron note that the iron that we have got from the blast furnace is called as pig iron this pig iron is not 100% pure yet as it still contains some impurities of silica and carbon as not 100% of sio2 is removed over here this pig iron is as it is almost pure it is hard but it is brittle and hence we cannot make 100% use of it some of it is used in making canisters etc but most of the iron that we have obtained from blast furnace it goes in making steel we will be discussing about basic oxygen converter a device which is used to make steel from iron in next part of the same video we are going to discuss how to extract zinc from its ore using blast furnace now we will see how to extract zinc from its ore process of extracting zinc from its ore is mostly similar to that of iron however there are two major differences in extraction of zinc and extraction of iron first of all ore of zinc is zinc blend that is zinc sulfide whereas ore of iron was iron oxide note that reducing oxide of a metal is easier process to extract pure form of metal and hence here we have zinc sulfide which first must be converted to zinc oxide how do we do that we roast zinc in air the process is known as roasting wherein zinc sulfide is reacted with oxygen at high temperature so that it forms zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide then this zinc oxide formed is added to blast furnace all other procedures in the blast furnace are as similar to that of extraction of iron so there also we add calcium carbonate we add coke then coke reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide then carbon monoxide is formed and then carbon monoxide Uh, reduces zinc oxide and to form zinc the other difference that we have here is that zinc has its boiling point nearby 900 degree celsius and we have discussed that temperature of the blast furnace may reach to around 1800 degree celsius which is above the boiling point of zinc and hence zinc is collected in form of vapors from the top of the furnace we have seen that iron is collected in liquid form at the bottom of the furnace but zinc is collected from the 
top of the furnace. So these are the differences that we have in the process of extraction of zinc from its ore. Otherwise, all the procedure of extraction of zinc is similar to that of iron. I hope you are cleared with how to extract zinc and iron from their respective ores. Thank you.